all my lesson plans had to be pre-approved by North Korean staff members known as the counterparts. So I had to find creative ways to sneak in more information than they would allow. For example, each week I asked my students to write me a personal letter with the excuse that I was teaching them how to write in an informal voice. With time, they did open up more and more, to the point where some of them confessed that they were fed up with the sameness of every day. Interestingly, every time I felt they were relaxing their guard a little or showing real curiosity, they would simultaneously turn in a flood of letters or essays about everything that was wrong with the United States. It was clear that the counterparts must have spoken to them. I also tried to teach them to write an essay, which turned out to be revealing in a sad way. I found that it was nearly impossible for them to understand the structure of a typical three-paragraph essay. My students simply didn't understand the concept of building on the main idea of their choice, since in their country there was only one permissible topic the great leader. Devices such as pacing or building tension were very difficult for them to grasp since they had been taught that everything began and ended on the same high note. Most of all, they could not understand the concept of proof or refutation. You simply do not question the great leader. There's no room for opposition. So from start to finish, the idea of an essay was completely foreign to them. And whenever I think back on it, I'm afraid of the doubts and questions I might have planted in my students' minds. Doubts and questions should be great learning tools, but in North Korea, they can only lead to trouble. And I worry about the future of any student who voiced curiosity.